Is there uh, room for me on your log? My god, Eric. H how long have you been out here? Just last week. I thought there'd be more of us, actually. So many people had gone from the village. Most of us don't last very long. Oh. When did you- Two months ago. We think we must have got a bad batch of joy. Oh. So... You're still with... Harold. I'm supposed to meet him in half an hour. Don't go. I'll get into trouble if I don't go soon. Don't go yet. Well, that's a rather awkward way to catch up on old times. I didn't know if you'd come. I didn't know if I would. I hope you didn't get in trouble. No. I've become a superb liar, actually. Is that a bruise? No. Oh, oh that. <laughs> it's sold. The garden district isn't a walk in the park, you know. How's your wife? Don't know. Probably quite happy. She's very careful to take her joy. I'm sure she's already forgotten why I'm not in the kitchen making tea. Later she'll wonder if I've gone on holiday. I'm sorry. She was in the mob that chased me, you know. I think by the end of it she couldn't even remember who they were all chasing. Do you ever wonder if- Every day, Eric. Every day. But things are the way they are. That's rather tragic, really. I seem to have had awful timing. This is not what I expected the future to be. Everything all right? I couldn't get away right away. He's become jealous. Of? You. Me? I told him I'd run into you, and he started asking me how long we'd been seeing each other behind his back. I know when people go wakey-wakey, things... happen to your brain. He's always been jealous of you. We haven't seen each other in ten years. I used to mention you to him sometimes. Oh? That's why I couldn't stay in touch. Oh. It's why I shouldn't be here. Christ. She still loves him. I hope he knows that. Man can be awfully dense. Lovely day for it. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it here, does it? I thought we could stroll along the shoreline. I can't. Or we could stay right here. I can't leave him. I know you want me to. If he's not right in the head... He needs me. He loves me in his own way. Do you need him? Don't be clever. I don't want to remember you as merely clever. Remember me? We can't do this anymore. Uh, I found a hardware shop. Fantastic stuff. On Lymore Avenue by the Hollow. I want you to have it. If I can't... be with you. That's far too kind of you. You probably shouldn't go yourself. That neighborhood's a bit rough. I'll tell Harold. Don't tell him it's me. Obviously. You're very generous. What is he up to? You changed your mind. Harold's dead. That's terrible. Who did it? He didn't come back from the hardware shop. Oh god. It's rougher than I thought, I guess. Was it you? Was it me? I want you to swear it wasn't you. I swear it wasn't me. I couldn't be with you if it was you. I swear by the gods of my people, it wasn't me. Kiss me. Please, kiss me. I suppose we won't need all of this. Well, that's a happy ending. Except for Harold, I suppose. It's time for all good citizens to be comfy and cosy and safe behind their doors. It's certainly not safe outside. Are you ready?